Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh from learn-automation.com Today in this video I will talk about how to send email after text execution in Selenium WebDriver So till now I have covered so far like how to trigger email from Jenkins right so we have some default settings in Jenkins where we can set up uh, some Gmail and some simple SMTP server settings and you can send emails but most of the times uh, it happens like we don't have to use Jenkins or we use some other CI tools and we have to send email through that right so you have so many options like you can use certain plugins like Postman plugin of Maven or you can use some other help of CI but uh, in this video we will talk about one API which will help you to send email directly uh, from your code itself so we'll talk about uh, one new API called commons API so full name is commons email API and we'll also talk about different options which we can use uh, in Commons API. So this Commons API, Commons email API has options like you can send simple email, multimedia uh, email and uh, so many options are there I will show you in few minutes. Then we'll write a very basic program to send email using this API and once you're done with this I will show you how you can integrate this with your existing Selenium test. And you can also add certain conditions you want to send email after every execution or uh, based on certain conditions like if test case pass or fail okay so let me go back so you just start with commons email just note down this name commons email so when you search you will get this commons uh, API it is also uh, I will say not also it's part of your existing uh, email API so previously we have used Java email API and validation or activation jar files to send email so this email uh, commons email API is on top of that so you can see this email is built on top of Java mail API and why they created additional API now if you go back to my one of the posts which I had written long back we use the same Java mail API if you see here and we notice we had very lengthy code so we use Java email API and if you see the code we have very lengthy code and it's a little bit complex as well right so just to avoid this complexity they have created another API which is really very easy you just have to call simple methods and you can send emails so they have created like multiple classes interfaces methods to send email and these are the formats which they will support so you can send simple email, multi-part email, HTML email, image with HTML and email attachment. So I'm going to show you the simplest one today and the second video is we'll talk about the different options as well. So if you're using normal uh, Java project, you can go and download the zip file and you will get one jar file. And if you're using this approach, you also have to add two different Java, uh, sorry, jar files separately okay because internally it used that java email and uh, activation jar file but if you're using maven you don't have to do this uh, for maven user you just have to use one dependency and everything will comes automatically okay so you can see it's quite easy if you want to see how to use if you click on user guide so you can see here by default if you want to send simple text email this will be the code just create one uh, object, send host, server, give the authentic, uh, authentications, make the settings to true, from subject, message, add, and that's all, send. And if you want to send with attachment, then they have all these options. So we'll talk about this as well. As of now, let's try with simplest program and check whether it's working fine or not. So I will go back to Eclipse. So if you have normal uh, Java project, you have to add, download this API plus you have to download two more APIs. But if you're a Maven user, you just have to add one dependency. So I will create a Maven project because I don't have Maven project as of now. And I will simply give one name, email sent. And I will simply create a project. If you don't know what is Maven, how to create Maven project, you can refer to my previous videos. As of now, if you are using the latest version Eclipse, by default, you will get an options to create Maven project. And by default, this will be the structure. As of now, I just have to go directly to poem.xml file. And if I click here, poem.xml, I have this poem.xml. So first of all, I need to create one dependencies 
tag which is the parent tag for all the dependencies here I can keep adding the dependencies so the dependency for commons email if you just simply search here commons email you will get this option Apache 2.0 and this is just dependency so just copy this four lines of dependency and paste here and press ctrl s and when you do control s it will download all the dependencies and it will add in your project so now if i go back to my project i will see maven dependencies and you can see here i have three jars here one is common email another is mail java mail api and third one is activation 1.1.1 jar if you're using normal java project you have to download all these three and use so this is what we need to do from uh, installation or configuration point of view now let's create a fresh class and i will say send email java package i will create let's say demo one and i will take public static void main so this is my default program which i am creating so we can directly copy paste as well because it's very easy code Okay, they have just predefined methods you just have to use now when you copy paste it will ask you what is this email so put mouse over and it will give you suggestions that you need to import this mail class from commons.mail again we have to import this class which is also coming from commons mail now one last constructor which is default authenticator it is also coming from that email Okay, so these methods will throw you some exceptions. So just put mouse over and put throw exception. If you want to use try catch also, it's fine. But I will use throws as of now. Now this is what is the program. Now you need to give some valid settings. Okay, so first of all, I have to give some valid host name. Like from the from which server I have to trigger this email. So I'm using Google uh, Gmail SMTP server. But if you have your company network, you can give that uh, SMTP server details. If you don't have, you can contact your IT team or some. Uh, if somebody else using the SMTP server, you can take. So as of now, the SMTP of Gmail is smtp.gmail.com. Port is 465. Here you need to enter the valid credentials. So I'm using Gmail, so I will use my dummy account, Selenium3 by Mukesh at the rate gmail.com password is demo at the rate one two three four five so if you want to set who is sending this email you can set like this email is coming from mukesh at the rate gmail.com subject is selenium test report from selenium add to to whom you want to send so i will give my ID here Mukesh at one year that learn hyphen automation dot com and just press control S if you want to check you can put some sys out statements here just to check whether your code is working fine or not I will say here test started and finally I will say email sent It's very easy code just you need to remember one class and that's all once you create object of simple email you will get email object and then you can call these methods set host name SMT report give the credentials make SSL uh, connect on I will say true set from subject message add and send so let's right click and run as Java application test started and it will take some time to connect it to SMTP server and it will send emails so it will come like email sent or test completed email sent so I will get one email okay and you can see this is email which I got selenium test report is the subject that we have set 
and this is the body this is test email from selenium and this is the subject oh, sorry the person whom want to send the report or email right so it's quite easy to use right so what i will do i can create a method for this and we can call this method whenever we want so to reuse this code what we will do we will put this uh, so if simplest way is you can surround this piece of code and you can say right click uh, refactor as extract method yes you can see that it is eclipse feature if you want to create a method from certain piece of code you can surround that code right click and say extract as a method method name i will give send email i will make it public click on ok so you can see now automatically eclipse has created this method for us send email or send email and i will put this as static so whenever i want i can directly start using it so this is my class ready class name is send email java and method is send email now how to use with test ng so as of now i don't have test ng so i will quickly add this test ng so i will go back to mavenrepository.com and i will search for test ng so this is test ng the latest version is 6.11 i don't think it's quite stable so i will take 565.6.9.10 and I will simply copy paste this dependency. And if I check the Maven dependency, yes, testng jar file added. Now I can start using testng. So let's say if I have created one test, so I will say create new others. If you want, I you can directly create. I am using using testng class name. I can give my test one I want before class and after class click on finish so you can see this is the default structure I got from test ng so after test I want to call that method so again I will uh, use send email dot java dot send email it throws some exceptions so I can either use try catch or throws before class I can write anything if which I want so this is just a dummy program so I will just write anything like starting the test and in the test case I can write as of now let's say I have two numbers int b equal to 100 and assert dot assert equals a and b i'm just writing a dummy test so what will happen once this class or test will run it will say starting the test it will run the test and after the class it will send email right so here i will just write one statement like done so right click run as test ng test So you can see here it's starting the test test done now it is running this after class and here it will send an email again it takes some time to connect to the server and send email so that's fine you can wait and you will see it will send an email so right now it doesn't matter what is the condition every time it will send one email right because here we have not given any condition so now I got one email again which says email sent successfully now we need to add certain condition if my test fail then only I have to uh, check my emails or I should get one email 
so now if you go back to one of my post which I have written like uh, capture the screenshot on failure okay so if you go back here we have used one after method and after method we have used one small piece of code right which checks the result at runtime and if result is equal to failure it should take the screenshot in this example but in our case we'll send an email so yeah just remove this unnecessary emails okay so you can use one after method of test ng which gives this flexibility that you can use that uh, status as a uh, like parameter and based on the status or results you can trigger the either email code or screenshot code so here you can use one i test result so this is one of the interface from test ng and here you can check so whatever result will come all the result details will be in this result object so you can put if result status equal to equal to failure so i test result if the result of the test case equal to failure then send email okay so this is what we have our condition is of now so now this time what i will do i will just first let me do in a happy flow this time my test will not uh, get failed so this will not send an email so this will only run when the test fails so it will say test fail and email send in case no error no failure it will not send email so right click run as test ng test and you will see this time it will not send email because test is passed right pass now this time let me do let me forcefully put wrong value i'm comparing if 90 equal to 100 definitely not then it will come and it will send one email If you want you can remove this before class this is of no use as of now i just created a class so i have taken so you can make the changes based on your conditions and you can see it says test fail and email send now you have this dynamic condition if test fail then only it will trigger email because if you keep sending email for every test execution it's not good and you can see this is email which i got so it's quite easy to use this uh, library i will suggest you to go through this api once again and very easy code they have written if you want to try from your end as well you can try like if you want to attach an attachment then what will be the code html formatted email and different things okay so it is just another wrapper if you want to use the pure code still we are using the same java email api which we have used previously but i found it's quite easy because they just have removed unnecessary code i will not say removed they have uh, abstracted it so they have written everything in a separate jar and you just have to use it so that's all i have for this video okay in the next video i will show you how you can attach an attachment and then send so I will take one uh, complete Selenium end-to-end -end test case and then we'll see how we can integrate this API. That's all I have for this video. So if you like this video, kindly share and subscribe my channel. In case if you have any doubt, feel free to contact me at mukesh at learn Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.